Hey there, everyone. Um, hopefully you guys don't see me adjust the mic. I have my fancy mic on. I'm fancy dressed tonight. I just came back from a, a presentation on uh, run, uh, not running form, uh, ankles uh, with a podiatrist that's amazing. And I uh, wanted to share some cool things with you. I had a great conversation with someone today about building better habits. Um, and whether this is like playing, learning to play the piano, learning to ski. I recently learned to ski this year or just fixing your run form. Now, this is important because I'm talking a lot about running midfoot and getting off your heel. I'm going to cover the five main steps and I'm going to go in a little bit into detail for, for you tonight about those. So hang with me. Um, it's all part of the midfoot project. It's an upcoming five week boot camp we have to help you get off of your heel and onto your midfoot so you can run with less braking and then uh, decrease your injuries. You know, just enjoy running a little bit better, especially for our runners who are over 40. Um, I'm going to share that with you. We're going to get right into it. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about this, go to midfootproject.com. Uh, we only have less, I think we have less than 19 days before we're launching, so registration will be closed soon. Um, I'm going to go to the site. So I want to I wanna walk through these five things. If you need to do these, you need to do these to get this to happen if you're looking to improve your run form. Um, learning to run midfoot strike is just one of many parts of, of improving your run form, but it's an important step. Pun, pun intended, yes. I'm working on my dad's stuff. Um, my dad jokes. But uh, I want to share the five things that we do uh, over the course of five weeks in this program. And so it can help you, even if you don't join our program, it'll at least help you, you know, make this transition. So let me see if I can get to my other page. Okay, so this is the Midfoot Project, or midfootproject.com. Um, and uh, we do have just almost 19 days left of registration. So, but um, I wanna go down here. If you haven't watched this, watch this. This is awesome. Uh, someone who took our class in the past, Julie, she's amazing. Um, I wanna share this part. Um, this is our five week program uh, that we're gonna be teaching to everyone um, that they can utilize to make sure that they don't get hurt. Because here's the thing about uh, learning to run midfoot. Um, if you're gonna run midfoot, you're gonna change how your body reacts to the ground. And there's a high risk for injury if you don't do this right. There's a lot of people commenting thinking like, oh, should you land on your toes? Should you not land on your toes? You should not land on your toes. Go back to the videos tab on this Facebook page. There's a lot of videos that I've been covering that show proper run form, why you want to do this stuff, all these different things. But I want to cover those five reasons now. So the first one is muscle prep. So I wrote here, it's an important step to avoid injury to ensure you are ready to run midfoot. Here's the thing about muscle prep. When you run midfoot, you get off of your heel and you're going to start running midfoot. You're going to be transitioning from your bones doing all your shock absorption to your muscles. The easiest way to think about this is it's kind of like anyone who jumps and lands. Someone who jumps and lands, what do they do? When they land, they land and they squat into it. Running is essentially um, jumping over and over and over again, about 80 times a minute on one leg, then 80 times a minute on the other leg. So it's a lot of jumping. You'd ideally not like to have your bones just crashing into each other. So this is really important uh, because you're gonna be taking that load of landing of the jumps, giving it to the muscles. If your muscles are not ready and prepared, they will fail and you will get hurt. And we've been doing this for 10 years and this is what the Midfoot Project's all about, is showing you that system that we developed over five years. So you do wanna use exercises uh, to prep your muscles. That's our first phase. I'll show this to you again real quick. Uh, our first phase here. Uh, part of the Midfoot Project, I don't know which one this is. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Now what happened to it? Hold on, hang with you. There it is. Okay, so midfootproject.com butchered that uh, but we give out these little pdfs though this is week one talks all about week one and geared towards your uh, preparing your anatomy and your muscles and all these things and we give these exercises out as a prep to get your caps ready to get your balance ready to stretch you out in a way and you can't see it here but there's actually some homework down here that we give you uh, with some exercises and drills to do and essentially what this is in, is teaching you is how to get your anatomy ready. If you skip this step, if you say, oh, Steve, I really buy into this midfoot stuff. I'm going to go out and try it, but you don't prep these muscles. I'm telling you, you're asking for plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, or a calf strain that's going to put you out for a couple months. So be careful about this. Uh, it's something that we do in week one. And we actually progress throughout. Uh, in the PDF I just showed you, there's, there's five PDFs that we send along with a video that cover all the exercises. You need to make sure a couple things. One, you're focusing on some glute strength and your balance. And then as you're transitioning over, you want to stretch the key muscle groups. Uh, calf stretching is really important in this phase as well. Um, so we talk about that a lot in this, uh, what we send out and in the videos we send out to teach you how to do this. Uh, but that's going to be an important part too. Um, the next thing, uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Y'all, let's see, no, nothing yet. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is this little uh, piece here. 
So we got week one, muscle prep. Week two is progressing to midfoot strike, building your strength. So notice week one and week two are all about there's some building the strength in here and learning to run midfoot. Here's what I need you to know about running or any habit. On average, it takes about 66 days for someone to completely rewire a new habit into over an old one. Uh, I believe that the research was done, I think I wrote it down here. Did I write it down somewhere? It, it was done out of uh, University College of London. They did this research and they found about 66 days for someone to, to build over an old habit with a new one. So it's not a quick thing. So when we talk about week two, so um, the second thing you need to do is progress slowly. We actually have this really cool, um, alg not, al it's not an algorithm at all, it's really just a simple system of how do you progress up so you don't end up straining these muscles that are, sh that are doing the shock absorption. So as you're thinking about transitioning away, you're gonna be prepping the muscles, you're gonna be building your strength, uh, you know, kind of through that second week, and you're gonna be actually um, slowly adding your mileage up. Here's the key thing about this, you know, it takes a while to get good at this, but it also takes the muscles some time. Um, you have to, kind of go back and forth with old and bad run form. One of the th key things I see with a lot of people um, is that when they start transitioning to midfoot, we show them the, the right way. They say, oh, that's the right way. I'm just gonna do it all the time. Runners tend to be a little type A, if you haven't noticed, they're a little obsessive sometimes. And um, they tend to just get after it and they end up getting hurt because they're going too aggressive. We actually have you in the midfoot project and you should use this too, if you're gonna make this change, is toggle on and off, heel strike midfoot, heel strike midfoot throughout the entire run because you need that time to uh, make sure that you're doing it properly. So uh, that is the second thing. Uh, let's see, so prep your muscles, practice. Oh, that's me, you don't wanna look at that. Let's go to this one. Uh, week three, stop your errors, perfect your form. Uh, so we set another PDF that covers this with a video. Um, and we do a live Q&A session, that's spelled wrong here, I'll have to fix that. Um, you ever find that you do your best proofreading after you send something or post something? <laughs> That's me. All right, so uh, week three, focus, Steve, focus. Uh, stop, uh, stop your errors, perfect your form. So uh, I've showed this quite a bit. So as you're looking at, um, I'm gonna expose you the, the big errors that people have. When you're trying to progress from your heel to your midfoot, very important, less breaking, very simply, you run faster with less injuries. That's, that's the basic of it. It's just hard to, to learn how to do it. Um, so in week three, we talk about stopping your the common errors. Common errors for us, if you go back to the last video I posted yesterday, we had someone that looked like Air Jordan, we had someone that looked like a punter. Um, what typically happens is people do one of two things, or three things. They either completely miss their midfoot, they stay heel striking, they over stride with a toe strike and that crushes the Achilles tendon, crushes the calf and they get hurt. The third thing that people do is they like to kick the leg out and pull it back underneath you. I showed you that one yesterday. If you saw that live video, go ahead and back and go back and take a look at that. But you have to identify those key errors. Those are the three main ones. Uh, there's an app called Coach's Eye uh, that you can use if you really want to try this at home. I don't recommend it because we, you know, we made a lot of errors over the last 10 years. We got a pretty good system now. If you want to learn our system, you can do that. Um, but uh, Coach's Eye is a good app. You can actually look to see how you're doing it. Um, but that's our third thing. Uh, again, this is all part of the Midfoot Project that's gonna be launching. Uh, if you want more information on this, go to midfootproject.com and you can learn more. Um, I'm gonna fix that typo <laughs> after I get off of this. Um, so let's go back to this quick. Uh, week four, we do run midfoot at every pace. This is really important because when um, you learn a new habit, particularly this, and you're gonna be learning to heel, get off your heel and run midfoot, um, people tend to feel more tired because they're learning a new way to do something. One of the easiest things I tell people to do is, you know, it's, it's nighttime, or at least in the eastern, uh, on the east coast where I am in the States. Um, if, you go, if you're going to bed tonight, brush your teeth with the opposite hand, and you'll realize that learning something new that you're not used to is very difficult. So one of the big things that we find, and number four, is learning that people have tr trouble transitioning their, their midfoot run across paces, like they have marathon pace, tempo pace, easy pace, half marathon pace, all these things, and they can't dial it in. There's some tricks of the trade there um, to do it, but it's all about toggling on and off and really being in tune with how you're running. Uh, you have to be willing to make this change, but you also have to, almost, it feels like, I feel like a kind of a hippie when I say this, but you have to fine tune, you have to kind of be in tune with your movement. You can't kind of zone out with some of this stuff. You have to be focused on it. Again, the benefits are awesome. You run faster, you get injured less, uh, particularly at your knee, which is the no, most injured joint uh, when you learn to run this way. Um, 
So that's number four. I'll go back to my page here. Number four. And number five is running midfoot forever. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Some people take a little bit longer than five weeks to learn how to run midfoot. Um, it's not super uncommon, but it, 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 it's not super common, but it does happen. Um, one of the final things you want to do whenever you're learning to do run midfoot is you want to dial that in because here's the thing about running. When the going gets tough, people tend to fold and they go back to old habits very easily. So if you don't really go forward and ingrain a strong habit in your run form, what ends up happening is when you get to halfway through the race, whatever the wall is in your race for a 5K, it could be a mile two or half marathon, mile nine, marathon, mile 20, whatever. Um, when the going gets tough, people tend to get really lazy. They go back to bad form. They go back to what they know to get that full regrain of the habit to make sure that when you run, it is midfoot. You don't have to think about it. It's just the new way you run. You need time to do that. Now, the average new habit takes about 66 days when you're going over an old habit. So, excuse me, it could take some time for that. But here's some here's some tips. Um, you should, once you, your muscles are prepped, you've gone through this process, you should be able to just completely sustain your running um, at a midfoot. And then when you get to the, you know, the going gets tough stage, here's what I recommend. I recommend you transition your mind, and this is what I, I tend to do, and we talk about this in the Midfoot Project. You're going to take your mind where it's going, man, this sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. If you've never been there, I go there often in a race, and I think of, um, you know, you know, I'm never doing this again, all these things. Instead of that, I always start shifting my run form to this, you know, week five, what we do in, in the Midfoot Project, which is uh, running midfoot forever. You're actually going to be focused in on some key things uh, about your run form. How does it feel? What What are you focusing on? You actually have a little checklist like, hey, I'm starting to get lazy. I'm starting to get tired. Make sure I'm doing these things. Here's the cool thing about this. When someone says in a race, hey, you're looking good, you'll actually be looking good and not, you know, like you get the race going you're like, oh, I'm not buying that one uh, because it doesn't look like I'm running. It looks like I'm dying, whatever. Um, you need to have a checklist of things to focus on. It's gonna be a little bit different for different people. We have a great checklist that we use in this program um, that we kind of, we, we give out at week five and said, these are the things I want you to focus on when you start to get tired. Um, and it makes a huge difference. Now, all of this will be spelled out um, for anyone who joins the Midfoot Project. Uh, we do these little PDFs that we send you uh, every week with a long video, uh, not super long, but a video um, with goals for the week and the things that you wanna focus on. And we give you all the training that we've learned over the last uh, 10 years doing this. Um, so it's a pretty cool gig and uh, it works really well. We put about a couple hundred runners through this in the last few years. We traditionally do this once a year. Um, so if you're interested in running midfoot, you should, um, whether it's with us or with someone else, you should be figuring this out. Um, the benefit of us doing this, we've done it before. We put a lot of people through it and we can definitely help you do it and navigate all the pitfalls of figuring this out without... Uh, wondering if you're getting the right information or not, or just guessing your way through it. Um, so if you're interested in joining us, uh, we have about 19 days left before we're launching midfootproject.com. Uh, I'll be around for questions. Let's see if we have any questions. Sometimes if I have a good topic, I get some, but nothing right now. Um, so I'll be around, I'll be checking the comments throughout the night. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys because uh, running midfoot is important. Simply put, you wanna run faster, you wanna get injured less, fewer injuries, injured less, English, whatever. Uh, Check out midfootproject.com and uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right, all, have a great night, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.